tired as I am of getting stuck in the machine. Yeah, yeah, let's take care of that today. Let's break this video into two real parts. Part one, where do you set your foot stretchers? Meaning how high or how low do I set that plastic sleeve that slides up and down? Let's call part two, getting out quickly and not wasting time. Those are pretty good, those are pretty good. Part one is adjusting our feet to get our optimal position in the catch. At the end of the day, that's really what we're trying to accomplish is to get into the catch better, if you will. Normally, our standard out of the box answer for this is to adjust the foot stretchers so that the strap runs across the widest part of your foot. This is gonna apply to 95% of you. You wanna set it so that the strap runs across the widest part of your foot. You can also think your lowest shoelace. The other 5%, I'm sorry, you're screwed. Just kidding. But really, most of you just put the strap across the widest part of your foot. Step two, how do I not get stuck in this machine and have this happen? Or if you have a partner, how do you do the same, right? How do I not set my partner up for disaster so that after the workout, my partner's like, dude, and you're like, sorry, I didn't, ugh, ugh, ugh. To work on that, we need to understand the fastest way that we as an individual can get in and out of the machine effectively, as well as how do I get back on the machine without wasting time? If we're using this machine in any kind of a workout, you're going to have to expect that transitions are going to come into play and we need to minimize transition. So let's show you how to do that. All right, so the easy part is you already know how to get out of the machine. You've already done it. It's usually just doing that and then you kind of sneak out. That's easy, but it's one step shy of the fastest way to get off the machine. So you're just gonna change one small thing. Also notice that it's a lot harder and a lot more specific to get back into the machine when the straps are that tight. So. How we're gonna do this is you're gonna grab the foot stretchers just like you would. So grab the underside. Next, you're gonna put your thumb on the buckle. You're gonna push it out and you're now gonna hold it there. And this is the hard part. This is where most people forget. They just let go and they try to sneak out of the machine. One step further, one step more. You're gonna continue to push on those foot stretchers and then you're gonna pull your toes to your face. And what that's doing is now giving you all this room. So from here, you're gonna go both toes up and feet out. Boo! Nothing groundbreaking. You're just going one step further and magically you're gonna be that much faster. Now the huge benefit to this on the other side is when I go to get back into the machine, feet are back in and I tighten my straps down and I'm ready to go. Next time I go to get out, grab, press, toes, and I'm out and back in. Grab my handle and I'm off to the races. All right? so. That's the only thing you're gonna change. And that's the beautiful part of it. There's nothing more other than what you're already doing. You go one step further, happy as a clam. You, me, we're happy. This is a great relationship, end of story. With those two things having been understood, you should find that your approach to this machine just became a little bit easier. You no longer have to think about where your feet are supposed to be set. You won't use somebody else's foot stretcher setting. You'll use your own. And whether you're a team athlete or an individual, if this machine is being used inside of some kind of a circuit, you're gonna start saving yourself five, seven seconds per transition if what you were doing before was any of this. not rocket science and that's the beautiful part is we're just gonna get through this and you're gonna walk away and be like all this time yeah all that time but I've been doing this wrong like it's so simple yeah I mean we have a YouTube channel about these things so, so that's it guys nothing really to see here other than now you're gonna move faster and we've helped you along in the journey um, I see so many people that just waste a lot of time getting on and off the machine. I don't want to see you do that. And I want to see you thrive and be happy and go on to have beautiful families and happy futures doing what you love and die of ripe old age right where you want to be.
Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Make sure that you guys go to our website, darkhorserowings.com, where you're going to find programs for athletes and our academy for coaches to teach you how to use the rower as a better training tool for your athletes. And we will see you guys on the other side.